We have some listeners of the show, Suzanne and Todd, in the studio. We want to talk about the Children's Justice Center uh, and some things that are coming up uh, to kind of support that, a fundraiser or fundraisers, I should say, for the Children's Justice Center. But tell people that don't know what you guys are all about, you know, the, what, what you're about. Yeah, the Children's Justice Center is a great program, and it helps kids when they've been victims of crime so they don't have to go to the police station. They come to our program, and we help them prepare to be witnesses because they do have to testify in court, and it's really scary. Mm. How rough is that? Yeah, well, it's, it's intense for adults. Can yeah. you imagine? Everything's well, that's what bigger I mean. to a yeah. kid. Mm-hmm. You know, everything's bigger and scary, and they don't oh. know what's expected of them. And we help prepare them, and we give them courage, and then they have the confidence to just tell the truth. How many kids, uh, do you have like a number of kids that come through maybe on a monthly basis or a yearly basis, or is it just kind of different? Yeah, it's been 1,600 kids a year consistently wow. coming through the program in Salt Lake County alone. And that's just the whole spectrum of crimes, the, just everything? Well, it's pretty heavy on um, sexual violations towards children. That's mm. about 85 to 90 percent of our caseload, but we handle children who have witnessed violent crimes, and that's terrifying too. Sure. Mm. Wow. Okay, so uh, in a second, we'll tell you how you can get in touch with the Children's Justice Center. But we have some events coming up, and TB was just saying, can you, ma- can you believe this? We're already hitting events coming up in September. I'm really pissed at this summer. Well, me too. I mean, really, the really. The month of May, I mean, where was that? It was, it might as well just chalk that up as rain. Mm. And I mean, then it June, the whole month. June yeah. has sucked too. So yep. we want to get the word out, though, because uh, September will be here before you know it. And uh, we do have some events coming up here as fundraisers. So what do we want to talk about? You want to talk about the uh, Utah Marathon Relay? Yeah, it's the Utah Marathon Relay and the Teddy Bear Kids K. Okay. Coming up on September 10th. Um, what it is is you have five runners, comprise a team, and they each run 5.2 miles. And that equals a full mar- marathon. So basically what it is, it's a full marathon and one-fifth the pain. Do you get the credit <laughs> for running a marathon? So if you you know, you partake in this, it's like, I'm going to, yeah, yeah, I'll do the 5.2. I mean, that's a lot, but, I mean, it's not 26 miles. Would you get the credit for you that? You do. You get the shirt. You get everybody that participates. So I can say medal. I ran a marathon. Exactly. You just got to breeze over it. Again, it's probably just the way you <laughs> present it. You'd be True. like, yeah, me and my team ran a marathon. Oh, you what? You ran a marathon? <laughs> we yeah, ran a marathon. Want to get some pizza? Oh. <laughs> the nice thing the is subject. the shirt says Utah Marathon Relay. They look at the I see marathon and they think, oh, oh, so you ran a marathon. Nice. It works. Oh, right. Why are you wearing that t-shirt on a first date? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that, and then you said the, the teddy bear kids K, what is that? The teddy bear kids K is a one mile run. Basically what it is, is kids get, get an opportunity to be introduced to running and okay. fitness. Uh, they can run, they run one mile or walk it or whatever. Their parents can go with them for free. Uh, every kid that participates gets a t-shirt, a medal, and a stuffed animal at the end of the race. And September 10th for both events. Now, when is it going down? Or actually, yeah, what time and, and where? The relay starts at 7 o'clock. It's at the South Jordan East Riverfront Park. That's okay. in South Jordan. It's right off I-15 and 106 South. And then the kids' case starts at 9 o'clock. Okay, so put this on your calendar now. That's why we're talking about it. And, of course, uh, when we get closer to it, if you want, we'll hit it for you. And then we'll get uh, your website linked up to our website in a few minutes. What's the website real quick? It's utahmarathonrelay.com. All right, we'll get that linked up to 971zht.com. Anything else you want to hit, Suzanne? Yeah, as part of promoting um, fun things going on in the community, the Children's Justice Center is running a contest. And if you go to our website, you can click on the icon, get on Facebook, and submit your photo for your favorite vacation in Utah and try and get all your friends to like it. And the person with the most likes has a chance to win some cool prizes. Nice. So we're giving away, we've got this really cool balloon ride for two in Park City. It's like worth $400. It's something not everybody does. Yeah. So the other thing is you can also win um, a team to participate in the Utah Marathon Relay. So you get a team entry for five people, or you can swap that and have five kids run in the Kids K. Okay. So we've got some cool things going on. Is the Kids K, is that outside, or is that like on the Wii or on the Xbox 360? <laughs> Sounds like it's outside. Is it actually outside? Yeah, it's, it's outside, outside, and they are pumped up, and they take off like slingshots. Because most kids don't run outside anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Children's Justice Center, great organization. Thanks for coming in.